Hello guys, today I want to show you how to register Cisco IP phone to CUCM. Before to get a start, we have to uh, you have to know some information and concept about the how Cisco IP phone talk to uh, CUCM. Uh, there are three uh, uh, three uh, protocol that uh, work inside the infrastructure: CDP protocol, DHCP server, and option 150 in the DHCP server. When we connect to the Cisco IP phone to the switch port in a Cisco switch with the PoE, uh, it uh, it needs to the need to power on. But uh, thanks to CDP protocol, it get started on, and CDP help to the Cisco switch to realize what the device neighbor. Uh, is over the switch port and when the Cisco switch uh, understand this is an IP phone its uh, power is started on to send the electricity and voltage to over the uh, PoE uh, in a PoE switch port and when the when the IP phone started on it's need to the ip to give the ip you can't set up the dhcp server to release the ip address here or you can deploy the windows server over uh, uh, in your infrastructure my uh, dhcp server address is 102 and 168 and 2222 and it released the address uh, of here when uh, uh, Cisco IP phone uh, give the IP address from the DHCP, uh, it need to TFTP server. Uh, and with the option 150 in a DHCP server, it uh, give the uh, give the IP address of TFTP server. Op uh, option 150 uh, give the address of TFTP server. And because the Cisco IP phone need to some information and some uh, the, so many information from the CUCM and the CUCM inside the TFTP server send the uh, send the information to uh, to uh, IP, uh, Cisco IP phone just like that. Uh, the first step CDP, second is DHCP uh, uh, DHCP for you need to IP address and the DHCP send the address of the TFTP server with the option 150. Okay, let's go to the configuration. Uh, you have to, uh, this video is for uh, education and if you want to work for the enterprise or company, you have to uh, buy the certification of the Cisco. Okay, the first, uh, first of all, you, you, you have to go device menu and the phone and uh, find, it show all of the devices here. And I want to add the phone, add new. You can select a which Cisco IP phone one connect to the um, CUCM. My Cisco phone is 7962. Yes, here. This is the model of my Cisco IP phone. Okay, you can select a which protocol do you want it? SIP or skinny SCCP. I select the SCCP. Okay, uh, we need to add the MAC address of your Cisco IP phone. There are the two methods uh, to find it. F uh, first of all, you can uh, go to the setting of your Cisco IP phone and uh, write it um, uh, right here, or you can find in a MAC address table in a switch, Cisco switches. Show Mac, 
show mac address table I, I, I already know what the, my MAC address is. Uh, let me show you. This is my MAC address in the VLAN 100. Yeah. I copy here and I remove the dot. And I copy and paste here. And I say for the more detail and information, I write something. For example, this uh, Cisco phone belongs to someone or person or anything else. Do you want it? I write the some name of the someone. I select the device pool. You can select the default or I already configured the uh, Iran profile for uh, information of the location, bandwidth or so on. Bottom template, the template should be 17962 skinny, yes. This is my uh, model number. The template is standard. It doesn't matter what you want it. And if you already add the user people in your CUCM, you can write your uh, user. But I didn't uh, add the user in my CUCM. I select the anonymous device security profiles is non secure profile skinny you can give the access for example uh, pc voice vlan access or some some uh, permission can give the permission to your phone depend on what the uh, permission do you want to give your phone and user work it and I send the save okay and right now uh, I uh, I have to add the line number it's a very important uh, here you add a new dial number here I write the one thousand six I click here to check is this number is the belong of someone or it's a new but of course this is a new I write again for example this number belong to this one everything is on the default I don't change anything but the color ID I want to uh, say that uh, okay 1006 number belong to this name at here it means <coughs> Excuse me, uh, when the, this person at Yemoshifi to call someone, uh, the name appear for someone that uh, he or she called. And the line takes the label, I write the line Y, yeah, one. And save. Okay, and uh, I apply, okay, reset, reset and reset and save. 
I'm waiting. You can uh, push the button and restart your phone. Okay, I'm going to unplug the phone. I'm waiting for And also you can see the registration it's not register okay Be patient. It's going to be a register. Yes, bingo. B2B is registered with the 44 the subscriber. And let me call to this is the uh, if in the picture is one uh, one thousand six, and I want to this one. See? Yes. Hello. Hello. And I want to call another line. Yes, this is a ATM machine. This is a caller ID in, one, in the directory number in the uh, directory number that I set. As I mentioned, the name is show. Okay, the ATM machine call it. Uh, thank you for watching uh, For a more information, maybe you have uh, some problem for register if your phone already registered to another CUCM There are some uh, Information for example, you have to rest restart and uh, reset to default all of the uh, information you can go to the setting and You can see this is a lock and for unlock you push the double star and zero yes this is unlocked and you can go to the network device security and this uh, this parameter one by one you add the more and erase add more and erase for example security for example here and erase and it's going to delete and erase whole of the uh, last um, configuration and it's working and if you have a problem to register it you can use this method thank you for watching goodbye